Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back with the final review of the Fangoria Challenge. This time, Jason and I watched Event Horizon. Well, we've made it, guys. This is the 101st review of the Fangoria Challenge. Jason and I have officially watched all of the 101 best horror movies you've never seen, according to Fangoria in this book. Event Horizon is the last. This was number 101, and it was a great way to close out the challenge. We had both seen it before, plenty of times. It's a favorite of ours. We decided a while back this would be the last movie we'd review during the challenge, just because we thought it would be a good way to end it. It has been a fun journey for sure, and we're sad it's over. But we have a new event on the horizon. I'll get to that later, though. But first, the final review of the Fangoria Challenge. Event Horizon is a 1997 horror film, and according to Fangoria, it's one of the 101 best horror movies you've never seen. I've said this many times, Event Horizon is basically Hellraiser in space. You know how the color blue-green is more blue than green, and green-blue is more green than blue? Well, the same can be said for movies, I think. There is sci-fi horror, which is basically a science fiction film with horror elements. And then there is horror sci-fi, which is a horror film with science fiction elements. I'd say Event Horizon is the latter. It's absolutely 100% a horror film. It just happens to be set in space. As a matter of fact, Event Horizon may be the most terrifying movie on this entire list. Crew members of the Lewis and Clark are sent on a rescue mission in space, led by Captain Miller, played by Lawrence Fishburne. On board with them is Dr. Weir, played by Sam Neill. The crew has no idea what their mission actually entails, until Dr. Weir tells them. Seven years ago, a spaceship that Dr. Weir built, known as the Event Horizon, disappeared. It was exploring the outskirts of the galaxy near Neptune. The ship was designed by Dr. Weir to bypass the speed of light. In essence, at the ship's core, it could create a black hole to jump through dimensions. A trip in space that could take a thousand years for any other ship would only take a day for the event horizon. But during its exploration seven years ago, the event horizon disappeared. Recently, however, communication was detected from the ship. It appears that at least some of the members of the event horizon crew must still be alive. That's why the crew of the Lewis and Clark were sent on a rescue mission. They put themselves into hypersleep, including Dr. Ware, until they arrive at their destination near Neptune. Upon waking up, they are just hours away from where they believe Event Horizon to be. When they do arrive and begin exploring the missing ship, it's clear that something went very, very wrong. Where was the Event Horizon for these last seven years? What did the Event Horizon crew witness? What's left of them? And what will be left of Captain Miller and his crew? when they finish exploring Event Horizon. Event Horizon was unfortunately a box office bomb at the time. Admittedly, I did not see it in theaters, and I never rented the film either. I mean, look, this was the VHS cover art. To me, this just looks like a space movie. It doesn't scream horror. But, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is quite possibly the scariest movie in the Fangoria Challenge. I won't even begin to describe the horrific images that appear on screen. It's a shame, too, that the movie was so heavily cut. 
The original runtime was around 2 hours and 10 minutes. Apparently, it was so graphically violent that Paramount ordered the edits. That complete version of the film has still yet to see a release. What's left, though, is still graphically violent, so I can't even begin to imagine what the original cut was like. When I finally first decided to watch this movie, I was truly blown away, not expecting it to be what it is. Do not let this cover art fool you. It's terrifying. You know what, guys? This is the last review, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And my final relatable recommendation for the Fangoria Challenge is Pandorum. Pandorum is a 2009 horror film, and had I not already recommended Hellraiser Bloodline for The Resurrected earlier in the challenge, I would have recommended that for Event Horizon. Because, like I said, Event Horizon is basically Hellraiser in space. Pandorum definitely fits too, though. It involves two crew members waking up from hypersleep to find that the colleagues of their spaceship have vanished. Despite this, it appears they are still not alone aboard the ship. More scary stuff, but not quite as scary as Event Horizon. Have you seen it? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. And please be sure to check out Jason's final Fangoria review. That's it, guys, for the Fangoria Challenge. We hope you've enjoyed this. We have. Jason and I will be back soon with a similar challenge. The Terror in the Isles Challenge. But we'll be describing that more in future videos. Until then, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.